Hey everybody, it's Jason Blahal with Ice Cream Fitness here. And I did a video a couple days ago discussing actors and their drug use. And I mentioned Dwayne Johnson, who I'm a huge fan of. And I started looking through some old pictures of Dwayne Johnson and it reminded me of something from my own childhood. And I want to talk about that for a few minutes. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Oh, and I've got a lot of new subscribers who keep asking what the bicep shot's about. If you really want to know what the bicep shot thing is about and the trolling behind it, here's a video, and I'm going to link it down below also. But let's get on to this topic. I grew up watching the WWF wrestling back in the 80s because I was born in 1976. And then I remember watching wrestling all through the 90s, and these men back then, a lot of them had body fats that ranged from 15 to 18 percent most of the year. And I would say the majority of them, and I would say maybe one in five or one in ten actually had visible apps. And a couple of them that did get ripped, they didn't stay that way for more than three months out of the year for the for these uh, wrestling shows. But these men were considered. By most people, this was their exposure to extremely buff physiques. And most people thought they were in great shape, huge muscular men. Women thought they were sexy. And this continued for quite a long time. And I've noticed since I've come back to the, the Iron Game a bit, because as a lot of you know, I had to take three years off from training. I spent a year in bed sick. I kind of had to distance myself a bit for a few years from the community. And then I got back into things. And... Uh, I've noticed the standards have changed and people seem to have this weird idea that if someone is not six, seven, eight percent body fat, that they're not in shape or that they're not fit. And it's a really weird standard because the reality is it sets such an unrealistic standard because most people will not be able to maintain that type of body fat year round without using fuckloads of drugs. Only a tiny minority of people can do that naturally and those that do over half of them suffer for it. Uh, most people who maintain really low body fats, in my experience, and it's due to hormone balances and things that go on in the brain related to your appetite and potential dietary deficiencies, they tend to have a lot of anger issues. They have a lot of moodiness, irritability. They're not emotionally healthy. On top of that, being that lean most of the time, if you're not injecting your own testosterone, you're going to have lower testosterone. You're going to have a lot of problems if you try to sustain that for any period of time. And as I've said before, that's the biggest complaint that I know of from legitimately natural bodybuilders is that they lose their sex drive when they diet down contest lean. And some of them take a month, two months, three months or longer to get it back after a show. They're just flat not interested in sex at all. So this idea that, that, that this is what should be considered sexier in shape, when in reality it makes many and probably the majority of men who do it non-functional sexually, leaves them hormonally imbalanced. It, it can lead to all sorts of manic episodes and psychosis if kept for prolonged periods of time. And so this idea that this is fit and sexy outside of doing a photo shoot or a bodybuilding show is just really bizarre to me. And I don't really know how the industry has got here. And, and actually, what's funny is that you take someone like Dwayne Johnson, and again, I am a huge fan. He is probably in my top five favorite actors of all time. I love his movies. But you look at this picture I'm going to link down below of him. It's an older picture, obviously, but by the current standard of the online community, they would call him a fat fuck in that picture. <laughs> and they would say he's out of shape, but he is very much in shape and has quite an impressive physique there. But I know that there are going to be people who would see that picture who are active in the online fitness community who would flat out say he's a fat fuck, he looks like a hippopotamus, or, or whatever else they would say. So I just think it's really weird how these standards have become so skewed at this point in regards to what level of body fat is considered fit, in shape, or sexy in men. And I think it's actually quite unhealthy, both emotionally and physically, for people to obsess over this or try to reach it and obtain it, because only a small minority of people are going to be genetically predisposed to maintain that type of body fat without using a lot of drugs to keep it that low and without suffering a lot of issues from it. Only a handful are going to be able to pull it off without suffering all types of, of actual physical and mental health issues. 
So to me, this standard is really unhealthy. But I would like to know what all of you think about it, so post your comments down below. Also, I'm going to open up the Monday Q&A thread on the Ice Cream Fitness Facebook fan page, so post up your questions if you want me to answer your questions on Monday. So I hope this has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.